Today is the last day of our Novena. As we look to Mary as a sign of hope for a troubled world. On this ninth day of our Novena, our theme is Mary, Disciple of the Lord. Our celebrant today is Father Coleman Carlos. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. And welcome today to this Eucharist. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit to be with you all. And with your spirit. And as we prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery, we acknowledge before the Lord our unworthiness. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord him. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Let us pray. Lord our God, through the Blessed Virgin Mary, you have shown us the example of a disciple who is faithful to the words of life. Open our hearts to receive your saving word, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit it may speak to us in our daily lives and bring forth a rich harvest of holiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. When I was young and innocent, I sought wisdom. She came to me in her beauty, and until the end, I will cultivate her. As the blossoms yielded to ripening grapes, the heart's joy, my feet kept to the level part because from earliest youth I was familiar with her. In the short time I paid heed, I met with great instruction. Since in this way I have profited, I will give my teacher grateful praise. I became resolutely devoted to her, the good I persistently strove for. For her I purified my hands. In cleanness I attained to her. At first acquaintance with her I gained understanding, such that I will never forsake her. My whole being was stirred as I learned about her. Therefore, I have made her my prized possession. The Lord has granted me my lips as a reward, and my tongue will declare his praises. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response, your words, Lord, are spirit and life. words, Lord, are spirit and life. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy giving wisdom to the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. Response. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The statutes of the Lord are true, all of them just, more desirable than gold, than a hoard of purest gold, sweeter also than honey or drippings from the comb. Response. Your words, Lord, are spirit and love. Let the words of my mouth meet with your favor. Keep the thoughts of my heart before you. Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Response. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Please stand for the gospel. Blessed is the Virgin Mary, who kept the word of God and pondered it in her heart. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. alleluia, alleluia. The 
the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers appeared outside, and they wished to speak with him. Someone told him, your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak with you. But Jesus said in reply, the one who is my mother, who are my brothers? And stretching out his hands towards his disciples, he said, here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It was quite interesting because it was her 75th birthday just on the 5th or 6th of May this year. And yes, she was happy. She was happy. She was a celebrity. Yeah, and uh, everybody who chanced to see that particular clipping said, yes, this one has it made. And yes, she's a comedian and I love comedy. I love to watch such serials, but of course the clean ones on the internet now you can get various types and this one was also very humorous very humorous but she remembers the 10th of September very very easily I was wondering whether it was 10th or 11th but yes she said the 10th of September was a day she was just four years old in 49 and at that time she was left by her grandmother in an orphanage and from that time onwards, she just remembers the day she was rejected. With rejection in her heart, she completed her education in that orphanage and even around. And she continues to live with these memories. But now it is all different. As she was in that orphanage, she had humor as a gift, as a talent. She didn't realize it was God's gift. And of course, it took her to the climax of her life because then, midway, someone spotted her and said, you are really very humorous. Behind that humor, covered up that rejection, that pain. So when she seen glamour, then drugs got the better of her. She cried in the hospital because she was down and out, not because she was sick because she gave birth to an addict. For eight days, she never had the chance of holding her child in her hands. And she was in despair. She didn't know how to address God. And she called him, dude. Dude, if you really exist, save this child and I will stop drugs. I will have a clean life and I will grow better. She forgot about that promise and she was in jail later till someone met her out of jail. Her classmate, someone whom she studied with and says, Lulu, change your life. God loves you. Then she remembers what was written on the certificate of discharge when she took her newborn home, saved by a miracle. And from that time, she began to change her life. She followed Jesus and that path. And following that path, she came back into the glamour world, but also became a gospel singer. If you see that man, if you see that man, tell him, I need him. These are some of the words of that particular song that she writes. If you just Google Lulu, Roman, you will get the name, you might find some of her songs. Nice songs that she writes about her life. 
Today, when the first reading talks about, especially Sirach, it says, from my youth I have been following that wisdom. That is what I ask. That is what I will always do. And my life straightens out because I follow that wisdom, the wisdom of God. I will do anything for her. She has grown. She has blossomed. And I am happy because I have followed that wisdom and my life is on track. It is on track. Similarly, today when we reflect, we have followed the wisdom of God in every possible way. We have followed the wisdom of God. But today we find ourselves down and out, especially during this pandemic. Our plans that were going ahead have suddenly changed. They have changed. What has happened? We have been disciples like Mary. We have been disciples of the Lord. We have been following the Lord. What have we done wrong? That today some of us are out of a job. We do not know what is the future. Some of us have just started in the business. We have invested. We have taken loans. We have just invested huge amounts. Some in the sound, some in the entertainment. We have just moved, graduated from college, says one. I've just graduated. I have taken event management as a career and now everything seems to be shut down. What do I do? And at that moment, from the day of my youth, I have been following her, I have asked for her, is that is what we need to do. As Sirach tells us, follow the wisdom of God. The wisdom of the world will tell us something very different. And that was the life of Lulu at the beginning. She followed the wisdom of the world and it took her to great heights, but she was not able to manage those heights. Of course, when we look at the text in Sirach, it very clearly says, following the wisdom of the Lord, sometimes we may go astray, may go astray. But then we lift up our hands into heaven. We ask God for his forgiveness because we have chosen our wisdom rather than his wisdom. And then we move ahead because we know God forgives us. God forgives us. And even though in our foolishness, sometimes when we are down and out, we cry unto him, he listens to us the way he has listened to Lulu. He listened to her when, he called, when she called him dude. She listened because he knows. He knows who we are and what we are. He never abandons us. He never leaves us. But he is constantly there with us if we only recognize that the gifts he has given us, the talents he has blessed us with, everything that he has given us, it is he who has given it to us. He will not just take it away like he did to Job, to just test us. Because he knows when we are faithful, we will return to him and we will always be faithful to him. And even if we are not faithful, he is there standing by our side. And when we look at our Blessed Mother, right, surely from the time of her youth, she has followed God, she has followed the wisdom of God. So therefore, when the messenger of God comes there, she is a little afraid. Yes, we are all afraid. And then we discern what comes from God, what does not come from God. What is the wisdom of God? What is not the wisdom of God? And then Mary doesn't go to check it out with Elizabeth, whether it is true. But she goes to celebrate with someone with God, who is with God, who is definitely in the temple along with God like her in the wisdom not of the world but of God Mary goes out and meets Elizabeth to celebrate God's great glory to someone who can also understand and that is why the moment she meets Elizabeth the spirit of God that is in her touches that of John the Baptist and then she is totally changed John the Baptist leaps in his womb and that is the wisdom of God. We go to someone who is alike. And when she meets someone, especially Lulu meets out of jail, meets her college friend, things change. Because the wisdom of God is different and her life changes. And today, when we are down and out in the pandemic, what is to be a disciple and what was Mary as a disciple? Constantly following God's wisdom. Constantly being there following God because the wisdom of God the ways of the Lord and the path he takes us down is totally different we need to have that faith and trust believing in him and that is why Jesus in the gospel when his disciples come and tell him see there is your mother your brothers they are waiting for you outside and he wants to convince them and say like Mary 
who listened to the word of God when angel Gabriel came there. Like Mary, we all need to listen to the wisdom of God. And that is why Mary continues to tell us this, especially at the wedding feast of Cana, which is right now happening to us because our feast has run out of wine. Our feast has run out of wine and we can be assured we have an intercessor right now who is telling Jesus, who is telling God, they have run out of wine, they are in the pandemic, their hopes are all lost, they are in despair. God is there with us, Jesus is there with us. And all she tells us today is listen, listen to what he tells you and he calls us to do that. Pope Francis very nicely tells us, and this was during the Marian year, is that we need to pray to God. And the rosary is one of them that will help us. It will not take away your problems. It will not take away your problems. Your problems will always be there because that is life. What is life if it doesn't have any ups and downs? We always use the ups and downs of the earth to trek, to climb, to go and pursue new heights and adventure, slide down slopes if they have got some little snow on them we always use that so it is essential in life and we need to enjoy the ups and downs of life but with god's grace with us with mary as our intercessor truly we will be able to move forward forge forward and enjoy the life that is there ahead of us not in despair not journeying through it with fear but truly with god in courage we will move forward. Let us pause for a while as we pray to grow in discipleship with the Lord along with Mary. So we pray to the Lord for this grace that he may bless us. During this pandemic, we may not lose hope. We may not be in despair. But with Mary at our side to intercede for us, we will surely journey forward with grace and with that holiness. Let us pause as we pray to the Lord for that grace. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, let this your sacrifice and mine be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the, May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. The Lord God, look with favor on the gifts we offer with grateful hearts on this memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, mother and disciple of your Son, Grant that through these gifts we may receive grace and wisdom and abundance, for these are beyond our human strength. 
to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His mother, the Virgin Mary, in her glory, is rightly called blessed. For she received your son in her virginal womb, but she is ever more blessed because as a disciple of the incarnate word, she eagerly sought to know your will and faithfully carried it out. With the whole company of angels, we praise you with one voice as we sing. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for ma many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, resurrection. you have set us Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Ble Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, O oh, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us now offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb, Lamb of God, you mm. take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental <clears throat> presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, Come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion.
Let us pray. Lord God, filled with the joy that comes from the sacrament, we ask that by imitating the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may be true disciple of Christ, eagerly hearing his words and putting them into practice. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Navina Prayer, the ninth day. God, our Heavenly Father, the day of salvation dawned when the Blessed Virgin gave birth to your Son, Jesus, our Lord, who set us free from sin and gave us new life. As we celebrate her nativity and join now in constant prayer with her, we implore you in this time of the pandemic to heal the sick, to comfort the sorrowful, to pardon sinners, and to grant us our special petition. Please mention your request here. Look graciously upon us and help us to learn from Mary, who is a sign of hope for our troubled world. Give us the grace to live according to your will, to and to proclaim your wonders as Mary did. Renew our world with the power of your Holy Spirit, so that all people will live in peace and unity and in harmony with creation. You deign to do great things for the Virgin Mary and brought her body and soul to the glory of heaven. Fill our hearts, the hearts of your children, with the hope of Christ's glory. Amen. Our Lady of the Mount, pray, pray for, for us. us. <coughs> the Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Eucharist is ended. Go spread the gospel by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.